Hello everyone, welcome to week three of Fit Squad brought to you by RCHC. This week we're gonna be doing a HIT program, high intensity interval workouts. Um, and how I built this program is we're gonna be alternating between two exercises and then taking a break. So we're gonna start by doing side step squats, moving straight into high knees. Once we're done high knees, we take a 30 second break. Each exercise we do for 30 seconds. So it, essentially we're gonna be working out for a minute and then taking a break for 30 seconds. The whole entire purpose of a HIIT program is to keep your heart rate high. So without further ado, we're just gonna get right into it. So exercise number one is side step squats. With side step squats, you start in your ready position, so knees bent, back straight, arms in front of you, and you do three side steps. You go one, two, three, and then squat. One, two, three, squat. One, two, three, squat. And we do that for 30 seconds. Right after we're done that, we move straight into high knees. So with high knees, you want your knees to come to about hip height. So high knees. So you keep your hand here, and you bring your knees to meet your hand. So you just go one, two, high knees. And you keep going. Keep that intensity, keep that pace, and keep going for 30 seconds. Once you're done that, so that's gonna be one minute. Once you're done that, you take a 30 second break, and then you come back to it, and you do it a total of three times. So you do side step squats, high knees, break. Side step squats, high knees, break. Side step squats, high knees, break. That's a total of three times. You're done with your three sets. Now we move on to the next two exercises. So with the next two exercises, it's glute bridge, mountain climbers. Again, glute bridges and mountain climbers. So with glute bridge, You're gonna lie down on your back. Your feet are gonna be as close to your butt as possible. From here, there's gonna be a gap in your lower back that you can probably put your hand through like so. If you can see my hand, you're gonna close that gap. And then from here, you're gonna lift up by pushing up through your glutes. So a lot of people make the mistake of, of going up by pushing with their legs but you should be pushing with your glutes. So three, two, one, and then we push up by squeezing our glutes and then coming back down. When you come back down, make sure your lower back is touching first before your butt. So a lot of people come down and they touch it with their butt and there's just space in between their back. So always make sure that that space is closed. When you go up, make sure you're aligned and when you come back down, make sure the space in your low back is closed. So we're gonna do that a total of 30 seconds. So we go up and down. That's one, two, three, four. So you keep doing that for 30 seconds. And then right after that, we move straight into mountain climbers. With mountain climbers, you're just in that normal push-up position or the high plank position. So this is that position, your wrist are right underneath your shoulder, so your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder should be aligned. And then your ankle, your hip, and your shoulder should also be aligned. And then from here, you just bring your knee to your chest, like so, kind of like you're running, and then you just go fast. And you do that for 30 seconds. So again, you start with glute bridges for 30 seconds, mountain climbers for 30 seconds, and you take a break, and you do it a total of three times. From here, after a 30 second break, we move on to our next two exercises, which are the Russian twist and the kneeling 
straight oh and the calf jump so again the russian twist and the calf jump so again i'll demonstrate with a russian twist you lie down like so you lift up your legs and you lift up your back so that you're in this v position and then from here you twist but that can be really hard for some people. So for example, you twist, you twist, you twist, you twist. But if you can't do that, you just hold it for 30 seconds. Just hold, hold, hold. Even this can be really tough. So it's okay if you struggle. So you hold it for 30 seconds. Right from there, after 30 seconds, we don't take a break and we move straight into calf raise plus the jump. So right after that Russian twist, you come here, feet of our hips width apart, you lift up, calf raise, you come back down, you jump. Calf raise, jump. Calf raise, jump. Calf raise, jump. Calf raise, jump. And that is the end of our hip program. So again, you do 30 seconds of one exercise, you move straight into th doing 30 seconds of another exercise. Once you're done those two exercises, you take a 30 second break, a 30 second breather, and you move straight into your next two exercises. And you do three sets for each group of exercises. And that's it for week three, I'll see you guys and week four.